All right, guys, we're at the Fuller Fullerton Airport here in Anaheim, California, and we are actually about to partake in a Bell 407 GXI demo. I'm so excited. Uh, the GXI, of course, is the latest and greatest platform uh, for the Bell 407. So, uh, love to go fly. Uh, it's probably one of my favorite things to do, obviously. So, highlight of my show. Why don't you come along and see what it's all about? Alrighty, we're at the Bell flight line. Got a 505. We got our chariot, which is gonna be the GXI. Looks like there's also a 429, and of course the 412. Pretty awesome. So excited to take you guys on this experience with me. So we're going to go offline today. You're going to be in the uh, the right seat. I'm going to be in the left seat. Okay. Uh, as we're flying, we're going to utilize a three-way change of control. Uh, you have the control. I have the control. You have the control. You bet. If at any time there's a question or a doubt, there is no doubt. Just take the controls and state that you have the controls. Okay. And we'll sort it out from Sounds there. Sounds good. The plan is, so we've got a runway right here. It's 624. We've been taken off primarily to 24. I'll contact the tower. I'll take care of all the administrative uh, tasks. And typically we've been taken off and it's been a right-hand turn and we're gonna head out that direction about 18 miles to Chino Airfield. Okay. Once again, in route, we'll demonstrate some of the capabilities of the 407. Uh, I tailor each uh, demonstration to the type of client that I'm, that I'm flying with. Are they corporate? Are they utility? Are they law enforcement? They all have different requirements that they want to see for the aircraft. Okay. So I'll tailor this more along the lines of corporate. Sounds great. I'm getting from point A to point Z. As we fly towards Chino, I will show you the capabilities of the autopilot, the flight director, some of the awesome things that the G1000 does for us. I'll show you some of the maneuverability. We may or may not uh, pull into a hover and I can show you the G1000 uh, characteristics of, of calculating the, the power requirements to hover in ground effect and out of ground effect. Very cool. And then we'll go to Chino and I'll show you on here a little bit later the, the layout of Chino Airfield. We've been landing to the west at Chino and there is a, a pad out there that we'll go to. I'll, I'll do the first landing, show that to you, and then we may or may not do a couple of patterns depending upon how, how full their pattern is. And then we'll fly on back. On the way back, we'll grab an instrument approach here into Fullerton and I'll talk you through that. Awesome, I'm super excited. It's been a hot minute since I've actually got to fly a helicopter, so be gentle on me, all right? Okay. Uh, super excited. Uh, Bill has a ton of experience, actually former Navy guy, and he's been at Bell for 10 years, so I think we're in great hands. Thanks, Bill. It's been a hot minute since I've been able uh, to fly, so this is pretty awesome. Yeah. Be, be easy on me. Comes right back to you, doesn't it? Uh, well, I, I hope so. It's kind of like riding a bike. Okay. So Chino is only seven and a half miles away. Okay. Do you remember the information? Lima. Very good. Got the power lines displayed here. I got them off the nose. So incredible to be able to see that. Oh, the G1000. Tower Helicopter 7 Alpha Zulu is about seven miles to the southwest with Lima for pattern work on East Helipad of April. Two. Here is quite possibly my favorite feature on the 407 GX series. The fuel range rings. Have you seen those? Yeah, it's so cool. <laughs> so, the green ring is uh, where we essentially are out of fuel. I have it set up so that the dash line is a 20 minute reserve. Perfect. So, uh, we can't quite make San Francisco today, but we could definitely make it down into Mexico. It certainly certainly takes a lot of the guesswork out of it, or the pre planning, of course. It does. 10 years at Bell now? Correct. On the uh, training department demo? Correct. I just joined the demo team back in January. Very cool. I feel like that has to be one of the kind of the cooler jobs within. It really is. Space. It is a lot of fun. It is a lot of work. You meet a lot of people every week. Yeah, you meet all different types of pilots. Like I said, utility, corporate, individual owner operators struggling pilots, very successful pilots. Yeah, totally. 
The first guy I flew with had 27,000 hours. Wow. All right, I'm going to take the controls first. Right, you so have the controls. controls. You got it. So we got our helipad up here. One got line. it there. You can see that the winds are light and variable. Traffic. We made it. Sweet. All right. And you can see all the different traffic that's out there right now. And once again, you can see the sea night lands a little weird. Yeah. A little right. nose up, huh? Would you like to try a pattern? I would love to. All right. You have the flight controls. Okay, I'm on the flight controls. So what I'm going to recommend, let's let's pick up into a hover. The 407 picks the nose up first, and then the heels. Okay. Once we're in a hover, let's do a 360-degree turn, okay. and I'll contact tower. Okay. All right, nose clear left. Seneca yeah, 4063 Golf on ILS, planning to go miss and go back to SoCal. 4063 Golf Chino Tower. The 407 is just such an amazing platform, so stable. It is, and it's smooth. That's When I was a younger pilot and I would do cross countries in the Jet Ranger, I'd get to my destination with eight hours of flight time and I was exhausted. Yeah, totally. With the 407, with that four-bladed soft in-plane rotor system, you get to your destination and you, you don't, you have more energy. Yeah, 100%. Very smooth. Great passenger experience as well. Cover takeoff, go to land. Clear takeoff, land, have Alpha Zulu. All right, so put about nine on the PSI and push your nose forward. I was trying to show you this earlier. We'll see if it'll work. Okay. Passenger. Traffic. So I've turned them off. With a voice command. With a voice command. I can usually switch if they're not talking. Mic one. So now I've gone to mic one. Mic two. Passenger. Traffic. Music. 12 o'clock. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. So the IFR aircraft... It has a standby attitude module and has its own battery. So if you do have a complete uh, PFD, MFD failure, you at least still have the attitude gyro, the ball, the altitude, and the airspeed. That's nice. Obviously for IFR operations, that redundancy is required. Yep. You guys doing okay in the back? Absolutely. Good. Good. Haven't made you air sick yet? <laughs> no. Funny, I've been in the back of uh, the air medical configured 407s, and it's it's nice, but this one, the visibility is tremendous. It's yeah. super comfy back here. It's great. Yeah, and this this one has the uh, the standard windows. You can get the high vis windows as Love well. Love the high vis. Yes. Honestly, even this, it's it feels like a huge window back here. Yeah. It's great. There you go. Huh. Not my best, but... Nice and smooth. <laughs> and go ahead and log yourself a landing. Okay. I have flight controls. You have flight controls. I'll, I'll demonstrate a uh, max performance takeoff once we're cleared. Nose left, tail right. All right, right side is clear. Gyrocopter's on the roll. That was you calling for split frequencies. Somewhere on the there, yeah. 2209 or altimeter 301 switch contact the south tower 120.12. 20 okay, aircraft in the downwind. Tower 7 Alpha Zulu is uh, complete on east pad. Request the BFR departure to Fulton. Helicopter 7 Alpha Zulu, east pad cleared for takeoff, depart to the west, ball call on course. We have a takeoff, wait for the call on course, 7 Alpha Zulu. All right, so we're going to pull right up to the top of the green. Actually, I'll, maybe I'll go a little into the yellow. Okay. Just so you can see the timer that pops up. So it gives you a little timer to tell you that you're in a transient range, or a five-minute range in this case. Traffic. Once we've cleared our obstacle, we can start to push that nose forward. Incredible power. So it's back to zero kilo steering Chino Tower. Contact the South Tower 120.1220. Control behind that aircraft. Low, zero miles. It's so nice, too, because giving you the countdown, the transient. Traffic, 12 o'clock. Same altitude, less than one mile. Flying an old steam gauge, <laughs> having to count yourself. What number did it get to if you had a bad day? Yep. Uh, can be challenging, so it's so nice to have that. Traffic. All right, just no a little bearing. bit so that we don't cross the runway. A little bit of vertical speed in. 
Okay, I got the tandem helicopter in Traffic, sight. Traffic, 2 o'clock. Yeah, I'm going to tell it to stop at uh, 1,600. Okay. I've loaded the... Uh, the RNAV approach. Okay. To uh, Fullerton. You can see here, you can pull up your instrument approach page. You can see the profile that's going to fly into Fullerton. Our decision altitude is 900 feet, and our visibility is a uh, one half mile. Perfect. Platform. So grateful for Bell for being a sponsor and allowing us to take this demo today.